afternoon guys welcome to the first episode of the rust series this is going to be the kickstarter and make sure you guys check out the guy who made this intro right here that is chris whippet the description uh contains the link below hello nakeds it is josh and today we are starting a new life in a new world known as rust Yes, this is it. Well, to be quite honest, I'm um, I'm quite impressed with what I've seen on pre-release so far. So I decided that we were going to kick off series zero, or series one, episode one, with this very informative video on how to die, because it seems like this is the most populated server on pre-release. There is absolutely no chance of survival unless you're in a group of like 25 people strong or wielding, I don't know, like spears. It's really, really complicated. So we're just going to try and gather some materials. We're going to use this kit that we've been wonderfully provided to be able to, uh, to, be able to create a small base. And then we're just going to see how things go from there. So I'm, I'm really starting to, to worry worry for my life a little bit now. Wow, that guy's metal, wood, stone. You will never break into my fortress of fortitude. I can hear movement. Let's go. Okay, so we've claimed a kit and I'm going to go ahead and build something of a really basic base which people will not raid because it is going to be like the home of the basic bitch. So we're going to go ahead and put our foundations down. There is a base over there, which is really, really, really concerning. Um, really don't know how I'm going to position this because I kind of need to see what's going on. So we'll put the doorway this side, the wall there, and we'll just bang on some roofs and we'll upgrade it all. Uh, one thing I don't know is oh, I've got enough stone. I have got enough stone. It's absolutely fine. It's okay. We have got this. And we will fortify this base with a door. I thought I could hear somebody for a second. Put a put a sleeping bag here. When when do I unlock doors? But this is a really fucking useful Oh there we go. Right, you got rid of the map there. Uh locked. No, misc, no, no. Build door. Yep. Yeah. Build and lock. Build. So what we'll do is we're just gonna have to put the door and the lock on the base or on the the, the hut and put the lock on there as well. And we'll have to create ourselves a key. And now I'm going to have to create some sort of storage utility device so that there is absolutely no way on this earth that anybody can break in and get anything from my base. Now, the only problem is, is I really don't know where to make a box. Where the fuck build? I don't have any of these. Can I make anything at all? Am I going to have to carry around my... Re you know what? There's only one thing that you can do when you've not got any crates. And that is to place down a shit ton of fireplaces and store all your shit in it. So we're going to put down two fireplaces. Boom. And we're just going to put all of our shit in the fireplaces. Now, if somebody comes over here and lights these fireplaces, I think I'll more than likely cry my eyes out. So let's just set a set home blue there we go and now we're going to go on an adventure to to infinity and adventure i really do not want to die today okay we have found our first mineral i don't know why i am talking like that every single time i come across some sort of amazing item like I have just found my first mineral deposit so I'm just gonna stop doing it I'm just gonna stop doing it and we're just gonna carry on playing and just and just enjoy 
So now, oh, level six! Oh, what I didn't mention, which I failed to mention, is that this um, this server does indeed have a kit which gives you uh, a certain amount of experience. So I have decided to utilize that in order to get um, in order to get what an advantage over the other people who also have access to this kit. No, no, let's let's just not go into that. Um, because everybody has access to the fucking things, so we could just carry on. And, yes, I um, don't think I'm going to get very lucky with finding any more resources, so uh, I'm just going to run around in circles and hope for the best. Feels like I got some slight input lag then for a minute. Um, however, I can now and go, I can go and put a proper lock on my house. There we go. All I need now is a proper door, which I don't seem... To be able to find, get one of these, get a get a crate. I just need a proper door. So uh, we're going to go and mine until we have enough resources to be able to create this door. Um, I'm really scared about what we're going to encounter on this wild journey. But at least I'll be sharing it with you guys. We're not alone. We are together in this. Just remember that. Just remember. Right, it's okay, guys. We're not drowning. We're not drowning. <laughs> gotcha. Right, I found some more more minerals. I'm gonna go hit this with a with a pickaxe. <laughs> See, I don't know what these miners were talking about in the '60s. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with jumping down a mine and swinging a pickaxe at some big rock. Sure. <laughs> There we go. I should level up. I should hope. Am I going to level up? Am I going to level up? Come on. We got this. We got this. Booyah. Right, come on. Give me a door. Give me a door. Wooden arrow. Yeah, might be with that. Hunting bow. Yeah. Hide pants. Hide vest. Stone spear. That's not a door, is it? Right, okay. Looks like we are still going on the hunt for things of which are going to give us a door. Maybe I could just go steal a door from somebody else. Hey! Hey, you! Anybody home? Ooh. Your door. Ooh, can I just take your door? Nope. Can't take your door. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just go look for some more minerals so we can level up more so that we can make a door. Alright? That's fine. It's wonderful. Okay. So, I've now arrived back at home. No, I didn't teleport over here. Yes, I did. And now I'm going to deposit all of the earnings that we have created, all of our earnings, into this box. And uh, because I teleported in here, I've no longer got a key to this fucking door. Please tell me there's a remove tool. Yep, let's get rid of that. There we go. Forward slash remove. Wonderful. Right, now I need to recreate the door. Uh, I might be able to put a code lock on it now. And once we put a code lock on it, we don't have to worry about losing the key. Which is just wonderful. So I think I've got all the materials I need to make the code lock. I have indeed. So I'll just go ahead and pop the door on there. Pop the code lock on. Create a code. Two, five, four, six. There we go. And now we are secure, apart from the fact that I'm starving to death. I'm wondering if there's a kit for that too. Let's have a look. There is no kit for food. Shit. Forward slash kit build? What's that? Oh, it gives you more stuff to build with. Wonderful. Let's just go ahead and deposit all of that inside this chest. And now we're going to go out on another expedition. This time it's to find animals to kill, to eat, before I die of starvation. So, uh, let's go. Well, there's a house here. <gasps> there's somebody in it. There is somebody in this house. This is one thing that I've always sucked at, is combat in Rust. I have never been able 
to fire a bow and arrow before. But I'm hoping that this will not go too bad. Which way is he coming? He is coming, right? Oh! Oh shit! He's there! This man has a crossbow! No! No, we are friends! Friends we shall be! Oh, I'm dead. Fucking shit. It's okay. I didn't have that much stuff on me. It is absolutely fine. Now I know not to go anywhere near him. Um, right, let's just carry on searching for for food, shall we? Yes, food search. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so. That's the last time I try and go and face a bear with a rock. I'm being serious though. Bears and rocks, nope. They do not work. If you're going to face a mushroom, ooh. If you're going to face a bear, do not just take a rock. Because you will die, or very almost die, like me, right now. There's another gentleman down there. What is he doing? Oh, I'm dead again. Rest in peace. I do not know who this man is. I'm going to presume it's something called Kovac, or some toxic gaming. Oh, okay. Right, well, that's me dead again. Okay, he's right outside my house. So, dying right now is probably not an option. Oh my god, it's an option! I don't want to die. I want to do some gambling. Let's take a look at this gambling. Forward slash G join. Oh, Daniel has joined gamblers. Forward slash G. What do I want to gamble? 10,000 wood. Forward slash G. Uh, wood. 5,000. Go. 5,000 wood has been added to the list. Gambling will end. Oh, you haven't accepted yet. You'll. Forward slash G. Accept. Has accepted gambling. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and presume that this is it now. The gambling will end in approximately 30 minutes or when everyone forward slash G accepts it. Right. Okay. One F1 grenade has been added to the list by Daniel. Um, right. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and presume that this is going to take a while. So, we'll keep an eye on that, shall we? We'll just keep an eye on it. And, uh, there's a guy outside my house who does not seem friendly. Oh, uh, yeah. He is going. What was he doing, though? Literally sounds like he's just running around my house, hatcheting dead bodies. Where is he? I'm gonna go throw a rock at him. Where are you? Oh. Oh. Oh, I won the... Oh, my God. I won the gamble. Oh, my God. Woo! I won the gamble. I won! Right. Let's get this F1 grenade. I'm going to throw it at this guy's house. Hey! You fucking string bean. Have, a, have an F1 grenade. Bang. Eat that shit. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Enjoy. I'm running. See ya. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, panicking. Whew. That was that was danger. That was danger right there. Okay. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. Um Okay, you know what? We're going to go to sleep now. We're going to hide in hide in our fortification and sleep. I don't know why I just did that. 
But anyway. Guys, uh, thanks for watching the first episode of Hrust. I'm not quite sure what we're what we're planning on doing for the next episode. Uh, but we have built our 2x2 two two little fortification. Whether I do any off-camera work is a completely different story. Uh, but we are playing on Respawn Rust Online. I believe it's called Respawn Rust Online. No, it's not. It's called Rust Respawn Online. And I'll put the link to the server below in the description. This guy has launched like five... I can hear somebody being brutally killed next to me. Uh, this guy has launched like five pre-release servers. So if you guys want to take a look at pre-release, then obviously you just hop onto Steam, change your development branch, and then look for the uh, look for the Rust Respawn online servers. But anyway, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, make sure you go check out Visigilis's Rust servers. Um, he's he's a really cool guy, um, and he's got some quite cool mods as well. So, once again, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you soon.